Alrighty, coming to you from an undisclosed location overlooking a uh, bloody big forest. <laughs> oh, this is just in my driveway uh, here. And uh, anyway, I have been <laughs> going like a bat out of hell, <sighs> getting everything worked out. Now, in some ways I regret leaving the carpet under, you can see the wobbles from that cheap shit, fully synthetic, fully plasticized carpet. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a blooming, I don't know if it's vinyl or some plastic film that's probably damn near, you know, one eighth of an inch thick, maybe, yeah, something like that. And uh, with this crappy, and it, I don't know, it must be the heat or something. Because I know that plastic will warp in the heat, and uh, it hasn't fared well. I probably should have pulled the carpet up before I put the lino down. It is what it is, and I'm just going to work with that because I've taken so much time piercing around to get anything else to happen. Um, I have realised that uh, there's a bit of an issue with having uh, the thing like this. Because you can't have feet, and... Uh, <sighs> <laughs> not for at least one third of the side. See, the width you can see there, that's two thirds of the width of the mattress. And uh, the thickness of the mattress itself and the base, which is one inch thick, is where those little black electrical tape is up there. And uh, that's more or less one third of the width. So how am I going to support that extra one third? Well, if I have feet in there, then I can't drop it into the slot in the position of sitting it now. So I've got a little bit smarter and we've got removable feet. And I have, well it's actually like a suitcase trolley, I got two of them. And uh, you know they're like a little U-shaped arm that's, that's sort of, you know, like that. And I can actually screw in a foot on the bottom and then you get your little hand here and you have, it works out it's um, it's not half inch, it's 10 mil, um, which is three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to get some three eighths of an inch saddle clamps for thin irrigation line and mount those so I can grab hold of this friggin' big U shaped bar thing that's even got a little rubberized handle and pull it, and the foot, which will be sitting right in here where this is already sitting will slide back. So I'm probably going to use 2x3 and I'll pull this thing back and it'll go doot, doot. it'll go from in here back past the, the line of the black electrical tape. One at the end, one in the middle, one in the front. I have this mesh that's, well it's actually off like a natural gas heater or some blasted thing. Um, that will stay fairly square. You can't use string because you can never get the bastard back in. Oh, but Link, you could reach over and put him in. Oh, fuck that. I'm not reaching it. You realise I've got to lift this up, have it tilted on an angle fucking way up here somewhere, <laughs> and then piss around with the fuck all that. It's not going to work. So I'm just going to have me pipe frame with the rubberized handle already on it and screw, screw through this bit of 4 by uh three by two foot, pull them back inside, past that line, and then that's it, it'll drop in. So one at the back, one oh, right there, and uh, one in the middle. Now, in essence, it's gonna sort of be one bit, but really speaking, two bits. All these lines here, heavy duty ply, because it actually turns out, I find out this morning, that the base is actually well, you know, about four inches short or something like that. So I've got, uh, you know, foot, big ply, big ply, movable foot, thin ply end, which then follows right through the back there, making a gap in the middle for another movable foot right there, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. All the placements of feet, or not placements of feet in case they're getting in the way of stuff, been here 
storage tub there, battery, water container, which you can see at the back there. That's a, like a, what is it, like a five and a half gallon or something. Um, and yeah, we're all done. We're all set. There's my little bin. There's my tub. I have about five spare of those tubs. Two in use and five spare. So I'm going to grab two of the ones not in use um, to use in here. One possibly hanging up here and another one right where that thing says tub. Anyway, you think it takes some people four to six months to work all this out. I have done this in two days. The end of the second day, we're at the point of marking everything out directly on the floor to measure up and start building tomorrow. And there we go. This is not four days to build one bloody box. This is two days of trying to work out, of, of gone from, well, I'm going to have this bed in place, but it's going to tilt and it's going to be sitting on, on an angle. And that's how I'm going to cook is with this blasted big mattress on an angle to why don't I cut back all my storage here and just slot it in like this. I've gone through all the possibilities and all the ponderings and laid everything out to work out my size and my placement for the right side of the van which is where the tub is that's where the stove's going to be blah 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 and uh, now I've done it all for the left side of the van and uh, marked everything out and that's two days to do a van build to work out the placement of everything I've left a bit of excessive room for the battery because I'm not too sure how big the battery is going to be but when we work that out there's probably going to be another little storage slot stuck in next to the battery I've worked out where my feet are where everything's going to fit the big ply that will act actually as a foot the thinner ply that just acts to hold all this or segregate off the different sections or more or less just hold the feet upright to make sure that they're in place to take the bed base when the bed is in use. But anyway, there you go.